You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. Since you left for work, you didn't bother calling to check on me. I was even worried. I don't know. Why would you keep me so lonely? I love you. Now I'm pregnant. I need care. I need attention. You're supposed to be calling me every minute to check on me. Because as a pregnant woman, anything can happen. How was your dad's work? Did you miss me? Where is your sister? Am I supposed to be her keeper? I don't know where she is. Did you even ask me how I'm feeling? Did you even ask about a baby? You're asking me of my sister. I don't know. I don't know. I've been trying to call her and her number is off. Really? Yeah. Maybe she has gone to visit one of her numerous boyfriends. I know who my sister is. Let me even inform you, my king. I'm sure she's trying to get pregnant outside and pin it on you. Do not allow that to happen. Stay woke, my love. Please. She's doing everything possible so she can be pregnant. <laughs> but whatever that happens, our baby would have been. <laughs> I would have delivered. My king. Baby. Whatever. I love you. I'm your baby. Forever. <laughs> hey. My hello, Papa. Good day, sir. Good day. How are you and my daughter? Fine. I'm here to pick my wife. Which of your wives? None of them is here. Sorry? None of your... What are you talking about? Uh, are you saying Ndidi is not here? Uh, uh, Ndidi? I've not seen Ndidi. Wait, she's supposed to be at your place. She's not in my house. Papa, are you saying Ndidi is not here? I went to work two days ago. When I came back, I realized she had packed all her things and left the house. She even blocked my number. I waited for her return, but I, I, I still can't find her. I had to come to the village to see myself. <laughs> Didi. Uh, but wait, have you checked on any of her friends in the city? I mean... I know one of her friends who just relocated to Lagos, but I don't have a number. Papa, she didn't call you. No. No. Where could she be? Huh? Okay. Anyway, don't worry. Hmm? I know Didi very well. She will definitely come back to you. Maybe she has gone somewhere to cool off eh? or whatever. You know, her head is uh, hot right now. Don't worry. Yeah? She will come back to you. Come, come, let me offer you some cooler now. Eh? Thank you, Papa.
Done it for us. Mm -hmm. My wife has just put to bed a bouncing baby boy. Hey! I mean, he came back. Junior! He came back. Junior! He has done he came for back. me. Junior! Hey! He has done for me. Oh. He, he has, has done, done for me. me. He has done for me. He has done. He has done hey! for me. He has done for me. What hey! I cannot do. He has hey! done for me, Papa. He came back, Junior. Papa, if you hey. see my wife, uh, she's so sound and healthy. Uh -huh. yes, if you see her, you won't believe that she just gave birth today. You see? Papa, Papa, hey. ha, he came back. That Do means that. my blood is already working hey. in her. Hey. 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 Papa, Papa. Hey. Papa. Papa. Uh, uh, wait. I am so excited. But wait, have you <sighs> called your mother to inform her? Papa, I have called my mother three times. She didn't pay. I, I guess she's busy. Papa, I guess my mother <sighs> is busy. Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, wait. Papa, ah. what's what the... Let's go. Who's your husband? Uh, pick, 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 pick. Hello? My in-law. My good in-law. How are you? Eh? Who's your mother just put to bed? Hey! Eh? Babu blessing. What Babu is blessing. the sense of this? Babu blessing. Hey, my child. Hey! hey. hey. Papa, Papa, Double Papa, blessing Papa, in Papa, one two day. Grand two grandsons. Two grandsons. Two grandsons. Uh, uh, hello, hello. Wait, wait. Uh, uh, you, you. Hello, hello, hello. Papa, is that come, 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 why did you bring me out here? I brought you out here because I want us to talk about something very important. I'm all ears. You see, Ndidi, if I don't talk to you about this, it means I'm a very bad friend. Now, I would love you to go back to your husband. Yes. You can't allow that beast you call a sister to ruin your home for you. As it stands now, your husband needs you. And take a good look at your condition. You need your husband as well. And I know you still love him. Going back there will bring all the memories that I have already forgotten. I've been through this trauma already and I don't want to go back to it. I'm tired. Didi. Didi, you need to calm down. I understand exactly how you feel. I understand how you feel. But listen up. I need you to, you know, take what I'm telling you so serious because you will never regret it. Yes. Just, you won't regret it. Okay, can I at least think about it? Let me just go home and rest. There she goes again. Fine. Say, so you can fling me into the thin air. But please and please. You said this word of mine? 
just make use of them. Please, I beg you. Okay, madam, I've heard. So, what did you say you want again? Ah, ice Five. cream all. I, I am fine by the grace of God. I'm fine. Okay, so how is everybody? Is my husband at home? No, no, he's at home. In fact, he's inside. Hey! Hey, madam. Seeing you now has awakened my hope and appetite to continue this work. Hey! Ooh. It's okay. Thank hey! You. Thank you, madam. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, ma. Thank you. Hey! This was exactly what I saw in my dream. I've made an unlock. Oh, my body. Hey, so beautiful. Hey, I'm going to Welcome back home. Thank you. What God cannot do does not exist. Can you imagine? Huh? Hey! Madam, so that man, or that man taking out? Hey! Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. I'm going down, I don't know what I'm going to do. Where have you been? I've been searching for you everywhere. I'm sorry I left without telling you. No, no. But I'm back now. I'm back for the whole family at large. You, you don't have to apologize. I should be the one doing that. I have wronged you and I'm sorry. I apologize for everything I've done. Everything I've put you through. Please forgive me. It's okay. I forgive you already. But... Are you pregnant? Yes, baby. I dropped the note before I left, stating that I was pregnant. I don't believe so, mate. I didn't see any. Wait, you're pregnant for me. Yes, baby. You're pregnant for me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. Sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I'm sorry for everything I did to you. Forgive me. I lied against your husband. He didn't rape me, like I said earlier. 
I was the one that seduced him. I wanted him desperately. That's why. He wasn't drunk, he wasn't high either. I charmed him. Jacob. 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 As I rub this oil on my face, you will not resist me. You will do all my wishes and desire. You will be mine and mine alone. <laughs> You've made the worst mistake by allowing me to step my foot into this house. Uzuma. So you're this evil? Yes. I did it. Because I needed to make your marriage miserable for taking my money away from me. Jacob belongs to me. Um, I'm, I'm confused. Do you know my husband before? Yes. Baby. Why didn't you tell me? I did that to save our marriage. I'm ready to marry you. I'm serious about it. Don't you think it's still too early for such a proposal? No, it's not. As a matter of fact, my parents are on my neck. They want me to get married as soon as possible. The truth is I am ready. Listen, I want to take care of you. Hmm? I want to take you away from this village. And when I get married to you, I'll take you to Canada. Hmm? Okay, but do you want to marry me because your parents are on your neck or you want to marry me because you love me? No, but of course I love you. Say it now. I No, I love you now. <laughs> <laughs> The truth is, they want me to get married as soon as possible. All right, but I'll... I truly want to get married to you. I want you to think about it. Okay, hmm? not just me. I'll also have to discuss with my parents and get back to you. So how long will that take? Tomorrow. How much time do you need? Tomorrow, next tomorrow. Mm. Yes. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'll come and take you back. <laughs> no, no, that will not happen. Tell that man that you're not ready for marriage yet. Papa, why? Papa, for crying out loud, I'm no longer a child. Why? You're asking me why. Listen, you are still an undergraduate. You must finish your education before you think of marriage. That is my decision. And in addition to that, you cannot get married before your elder sister and Didi. Oh. So you have to wait for her to get married first. Uh -huh. Before you start thinking of marriage. Yeah. Listen, in case you don't know, that is the tradition of this land. And if you do otherwise, <laughs> no one will attend your marriage. Not myself, not your mother, not any of your relations. You just go there and do your marriage alone. I'm so sorry. What you're asking of me won't be possible. But I want to know why. Didn't your parents accept my request? Listen, it's not about my parents here. It's about me. I'm still an undergraduate. I wouldn't want to get married if I don't finish with my school. But that, that makes everything interesting. I promise to take care of your university education. My parents are capable. They are not complaining. Please, I, I appreciate, but there are a lot of other beautiful girls in this village. Get yourself one and marry. I'm not ready. Uzioma, so you're turning me down? Not really. I've been chasing after you. I told you I want to marry you, and you're turning me down. You're asking me to go to other girls, right? I'm sorry. Huh? I'm sorry, I don't mean it that way. I'm not just ready for marriage. 
Okay, I hope you don't regret this though. It's fine. I, um, I actually uh, had a good time with you. And um, have a nice day. You too. Have a good life. And don't worry, I'll still send you that uh, money I promised you, okay? What kind of thing is this now? Huh? I don't understand my parents, so... Where am I going to get this kind of man again in my life? Cute, humble, rich, sexy, bloody romantic. What is all this nonsense now? I don't understand my parents. So I want to come. They don't want to get on. Don't want to now. Hi. Okay, if it's for me, he will still come back, Sha. The day you you brought him to the house and introduced him to Mama and Papa, I was very angry. He was supposed to be my husband, but Mama and Papa said no. But when he came for you, they allowed it. I became very angry, desperate to have him back. I was supposed to tell you back then, but I wouldn't want you to miss him the way I did. Jacob is a good man. He's a very nice man, and I wouldn't want our family to miss him. That's why I allowed you guys to go on with the marriage. Mama cost everything. Mama and Papa. But Mama, why would you and Papa do such a thing? Why? Joanna, my daughter, we did it for a purpose. What purpose, Mama? Mama, what purpose? Jacob is supposed to be my husband. You caused all this. Zema, calm down. Please, calm down. We wanted to maintain orderliness in the family. That was why we did not allow her to get married before you. We did it for, the, for your own good and the good of the family. Mama, just listen to yourself. Just listen to yourself. You caused all this. You and Papa caused all this problem. He was supposed to be my husband. You took him away from me, gave him to my sister. How does that make any sense to you, Mama? I don't deserve to have a cute handsome man as my husband. Is it my fault that God decided to bless me early with a good man? Deputy Jesus. No, you, Nenyanu, Nenyanu. I'm sorry. Blame Mama and Papa. And for the marriage, I'm no longer interested. After all, I bought the ring myself. <laughs> not doing it again. I'll go to the village with Mama. It's I'm okay. sorry. It's I'm okay. sorry, please. It's okay. It's I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. Please. It's okay. It's okay. Mama, he caused all this. Things. Mama, it was you and Papa. But, Mama, what about the baby? That's another problem, Mo. That's another problem. My baby died. <laughs> That's another problem. It's okay, it's okay. My baby died. My baby is afraid of giving birth to my baby. I'm a maga. I'm a maga. Mama, I'm a maga. You can't do this. <laughs> I'm sorry. Take up. I'm sorry. You know you're supposed to be married. I'm sorry. <laughs> I know I loved you with everything I've got. I know I loved you with all my beating heart. I know I want you no matter.
I know how it be for my heart on the day that I saw you. I can't explain what I feel in my heart, what I feel for you. We were never meant to be. We were only just a dream. Our love was never meant to be. But I know that I love you. I love you. My heart on the day that I saw you. I can't explain what I feel in my heart, what I feel for you. We were never meant to be. We were only just a dream. Our love was never meant to be.